हेलो एवरीबॉडी एंड वेलकम टू द क्रिएटिक्स यूट्यूब चैनल आई वेलकम यू ऑल इन अ फ्रेश सेशन ऑफ एनालॉग इलेक्ट्रॉनिक्स एंड माय डियर फ्रेंड्स व्हेन आई से वी आर गोइंग टू लर्न एनालॉग इलेक्ट्रॉनिक्स फ्रॉम द वेरी बेसिक आई मीन इट वी विल बी लर्निंग फ्रॉम द वेरी वेरी बेसिक लेवल टू द वेरी एडवांस लेवल अलॉन्ग विद अ लॉट्स एंड लॉट्स ऑफ क्वेश्चन सो बिफोर वी डू दैट लेट मी फर्स्ट इंट्रोड्यूस माई सेल्फ फॉर माई फ्रेंड हु इज मीटिंग मी फॉर द फर्स्ट टाइम my dear friends my name is ankit goel i got air1 twice in gate in 2014 and 2018 i was awarded the president of india gold medal in the year 2013 when i graduated from iit indore till date i have trained more than 1 lakh student in the online and the offline classes and presently working as a director at an academy for gate department but my dear friends the reason behind this series is because of the huge demand of analog electronics and the belief the belief that whenever you ask for anything we are there to deliver yes my dear friends we are here for you we are here delivering for you and when we say it we'll support you to the very very fullest level and this series will help you crack gate with a top rank it will enable ec student to get 12 out of 12 and 5 out of 5 for electrical students So my dear friends if you want to learn with us live then you can join an academy using the code ankit ese to get an immediate 10% discount and not only my dear friend 10% discount it also brings you under my guidance so that i can help you do something that i have done i can at least take you near to this goal okay so if you also dream the same thing then join me in this journey on an academy subscription using the code ankit ese Now my dear friend if you like the content that I deliver you can watch more of my free videos on this URL tinyurl.com/ankitese here you will find all my videos arranged subject wise chapter wise and you will find great content for free and you are definitely going to love it you are definitely going to enjoy it not only includes conceptual videos but it also includes problem solving sessions so just visit this once and you will fall in love with this URL Don't forget it it is a lifeline for you and if you love the content that we are delivering on YouTube we have created the first ever video book for you guys where you will find all the videos along with all the all the notes that we provide arranged subject wise chapter wise so now my dear friends your dreams are no longer dreams they are becoming a reality because you are getting a top quality course well arranged well structured and that too for free so what can be better than that what can be better than that nothing nothing my dear friends so we have empowered the dreams of those who earlier used to think that only the person with a huge amount of money can crack gate with a top rank no my dear friends that is not the case even you can do even you can do it but yes just you need to believe in yourself and visit this link but remember this is a case sensitive link so write this in upper case other than that if you join plus subscription you get all the top educators like me teaching you live in daily lectures along with providing you daily practice paper weekly quiz test series previous year question practice question crash course rank improvement batch and most importantly clearing your each and every doubt so if you join plus subscription it is an entire world inside it so you don't have to look outside once you enter plus every need of yours will be taken care of and we will make your journey as smooth as possible towards that destination of getting under 100 under 10 rank believe me my friend you leave that strategy part to us you leave the content part to us you just work hard and we will make sure that you obtain the top rank in gate and ese and iconic iconic is a big brother of plus yes this is a little brother so iconic gives you everything that the plus subscription gives along with much more the major part of iconic is this personal coach a person dedicated to you on a daily basis to get you the top rank guiding you getting your schedule design making your strategy everything that you need to get the top rank is being done by this personal coach he'll also create a study planner for you which you can follow blindly and reach your destination with utmost ease they will be analyzing your test result and tell you where you are lacking how you can improve so that way my dear friend everybody else will get a standard analysis but you will get a analysis just tailor made for you 
Along with it, we have included study material additionally, theory and question bank. And soon we'll be introducing interview guidance into this. So this will become a complete package for a student who wants to take that journey from being an average student to sitting into a PSU or a M-Tech seat. So for them, this journey will be just like driving a Lamborghini to work. So that sort of a experience, that sort of a royal experience we are going to give you. So let's move on to the lecture. And if you want to join an academy, just make sure you use the code Ankit ESE to get my guidance as well as to get 10% over and above whatever an academy offers you. So now let's move on to the lecture, dear friends, and let's see what we have in store for you. Hi, guys. In the last video, we started with the different class of amplifier. So we first of all started with class A amplifier, which is nothing but simply a direct coupled common emitter amplifier. So in this, we saw two types of class A. First one was direct coupled class A amplifier. It had an efficiency of 25% and the efficiency of class A amplifier is low because it is biased in active region. So even when AC signal is not applied, the DC current flowing through the transistor causes the losses and reduction in efficiency. Then we studied about transformer coupled. In transformer coupled, we connected the load on secondary side of transformer. Due to that, the DC current did not flow through the load, but only AC current flowed through the load. That means the efficiency improved and it was around 30 to 35 percent. And ideally, the efficiency of transformer coupled class A amplifier is 50 percent. Then we saw class B amplifier. In class B amplifier, the transistors were biased in cutoff mode. And we had two transistors, each working for one half cycle. So in this, in absence of this AC signal, the power loss was minimum. So efficiency here was coming out to be 78.5%. Okay. There was no DC biasing, so transistors were biased in cutoff mode. So when AC signal is absent, transformer cannot, or sorry, transistor cannot work. Hence, there is no loss of energy or very less loss of energy. Now, in class B amplifier, the drawback was that of crossover distortion. Since both transistors require at least 0.7 volt to be in the on state, there is a region from minus 0.7 volt to plus 0.7 volt where none of the transistor is operating and that causes a dead zone in the characteristic leading to crossover distortion. Okay. So now we will talk about more about class B amplifier and then we will talk about other classes of amplifier. So first we shall discuss class B push-pull amplifier. So let me place a dot. Now to understand the operation, what you need to understand is the basic principle of transformer. In transformer, according to Lenz law, primary and secondary flux suppose each other. Okay. Primary and secondary flux always oppose each other. Okay. That is why in order to oppose primary and secondary flux or in order uh, that the both fluxes oppose each other, current enters dot on one side and leaves dot on the other side. Okay. Current will always enter the dotted terminal on one side and leave the dotted terminal on the other side. That is the basic principle that we study in transformer. Now in class B push-pull amplifier, if you see here, both transistors that we have used are NPN transistor. Okay. Now, 
what happens is suppose this is our vs so what will happen dots always have the same polarity so this will be vs dash and this will also be vs dash now see positive terminal is connected to base of q1 and negative terminal to base of q2 so what happens during positive half cycle q1 is on and q2 is off because for NPN transistor, the positive terminal must be connected to the base or you can say that base emitter junction must be forward bias. But in positive half cycle, negative terminal is connected at the base of Q2. So Q2 cannot work. Now, Q1 and Q2 are nothing but they are biased in common emitter amplifier configuration which means they will provide 180 degree phase shift. Since Q1 is working, so this kind of voltage is applied at Q1. It is working in positive half cycle. So what kind of current it will provide? Due to 180 degree phase shift, it will provide like this. This is your IC1. Okay. Now, during negative half cycle, during negative half cycle. See, here negative polarity of Vs is connected. That means minus Vs is connected. If Vs is like this, plus Vs is connected or plus Vs dash is connected at Q1, but at Q2 it is minus Vs dash. Like this. So that means it will work during the second half cycle or during negative half cycle. Are you getting my point? On the first transistor, we have applied plus Vs dash. So it has the same polarity as Vs. But here it is minus Vs dash. So it has opposite polarity. Opposite polarity as compared to Vs. Okay. So it has opposite polarity. So it will work in the negative half cycle. So we will say Q1 is now off because negative voltage cannot forward bias base emitter junction and Q2 is on. But again it is common emitter amplifier so the current here will be like this. Okay. It will provide 180 degree shift. Now we have got current in both the transistor. Now, what is the general direction of current? This will be IC1. And what will be the general direction of current? This will be IC2. Current should leave the emitter terminal like this. See this one. Current is leaving the dot. If current is leaving the dot here, that means current will enter the dot here. Okay. Sorry, IC2 will be like this as shown in the dotted terminal. IC2 is like this. If current is leaving the dotted terminal on the primary side, current will enter the dotted terminal. That means current will go like this. Or you can say I0 will be negative because see current is going like this whereas I have shown I0 to be downwards. So I0 will be less than 0. That means it will become like this. It will be negative of IC1. It will be like this. But here current is entering the dotted terminal. That means current will leave the dot here. If current is leaving the dot here, I0 will have same polarity as IC2. So if I0 has same polarity as IC2, it will be like this. And when both currents are combined, we get full cycle of output current. Okay. That means current of one transistor is inverted, but current of the other transistor remains as it is and both current combine to give us the complete cycle of output current. So what happens in general terms, what we say, the center tapped transformer, 
there are two center tap transformer this one is the first transformer this is the second one the first transformer split the input signal into two half cycle and the second transformer combines the two half cycle to give us the complete cycle but as we have seen one current is inverted whereas other current remains as it is so what we can say il is k ic2 minus ic1 why because ic2 remains as it is but ic1 is inverted now ic1 and ic2 will carry harmonics due to crossover distortion i have told you there is crossover distortion in class b amplifier so how will be the fourier series b not plus b1 sin omega t plus b2 sin 2 omega t and so on what about ic2 ic2 will be ic1 shifted by an angle pi because ic1 was like this and ic2 was like this since it is right shifted what you can do is you can place minus pi it is right shifted by pi so it is b naught plus b1 b1 sin omega t minus pi okay plus b2 sin 2 omega t minus 2 pi and so on so it is b naught minus b1 sin omega t okay plus b2 sin 2 omega t and so on so when we talk about il ic2 minus ic1 if you subtract first equation from the second one b naught will get cancelled minus 2 b1 sin omega t minus 2 b3 sin 3 omega t that means what is happening even harmonics are cancelled if even harmonics are cancelled the distortion is reduced see harmonics cause distortion distortion means change in the shape of the waveform if you are reducing the number of harmonics the distortion is getting reduced and that is why this amplifier design is desirable because it is reducing the distortion produced in the original design that we studied so in the last lecture whatever design we studied was producing crossover distortion but if we use this transformer design in that case the distortion will be reduced okay so what is the advantage of class b amplifier it has higher efficiency then the voltage swing is from minus vcc to plus vcc hence it is 2 vcc okay now we have reduced distortion by the use of transformer okay earlier distortion was less okay but what happens is that this distortion can only be reduced if both transistor are identical otherwise the gain of both transistor will not be same and we will not be able to cancel the even harmonic terms remember this point their Fourier series can only be identical if the transistors are identical. So class B amplifier requires the use of two identical transistor. Next is complementary symmetry push-pull amplifier. By symmetry we mean one transistor that we are using is PNP and other one is NPN. That is why they are complementary transistor earlier we were using both the transistors as npn but now one is pnp and the other is npn okay so what will happen in positive cycle npn will conduct during negative cycle of the input pnp will conduct so what we say each transistor conducts for one half cycle okay so that we obtain a complete cycle at the output here transistors are biased in cutoff mode so in absence of 
AC signal IC1 equal to IC2 equal to 0. No current will flow in the circuit in absence of AC signal because we haven't performed biasing in the active region. Biasing is in the cutoff region. In cutoff region, what is the current? The current is 0. But again, what is the distort? What is the disadvantage? That dead zone is introduced leading to crossover distortion. Okay. Now to reduce this crossover distortion or to eliminate this crossover distortion, what we actually do is we move to the next amplifier that is your class AB power amplifier. Okay. In class AB power amplifier, if you see what we have done is between NPN and PNP transistor, we have connected two diodes. Now, these two diodes are providing a small bias. That is, we haven't biased the transistor in the cutoff region, but slightly above the cutoff region. Okay. It is called as class AB amplifier because it is somewhere between class A and class B. In class A amplifier, we are biasing in the center of the load line. In class B, at the edge of the load line. But here we are biasing it slightly above the edge of the load line that is between class A and class B. Okay. So if someone asks you what is meant by class AB amplifier, so what you will say? If we bias the transistors slightly above the cutoff region, then it is said to be class AB amplifier because its operating point lies between class A and class B amplifier. That you have to remember. Now this diode will provide 0.7 volt voltage drop. Hence it is applying a small voltage at the base of the transistor. So we have applied a small bias. So it is not exactly in the cutoff region. Okay. So that means we are just applying, if I talk in general term, 5 to 10 percent of voltage or current required in active region. Okay. We are providing a very small fraction of current required to operate in active region. That means it is neither in cutoff nor in active region. Okay. Due to that, what will happen is earlier we were biasing in cutoff. So, it was only operating in one cycle. Now, since we are biasing slightly above the cutoff, it will operate in negative cycle, but only for small duration. See, what I will say that, I will say that base voltage should be greater than zero for NPN transistor to be on. Now, we have an AC voltage like this. This is your VAC. And we have applied a small amount of DC voltage also. Okay. So, how will I show a DC voltage? VDC. Very small voltage. So, if you add both the voltages, that is the total voltage at the base. So, what you will do? You will add AC into DC. Like this. Okay. Now, I have told you the voltage must be greater than 0 for operation. That means it will operate up to here. That means it is not operating for complete negative half cycle, but small part of negative half cycle. So, it is operating in positive half cycle plus small part of negative half cycle. In class B amplifier, we were only operating in one half cycle. We were not touching the second half cycle, but here we are operating in small part of the second half cycle also. Similarly, the PNP transistor will operate in negative half cycle plus small part of positive half cycle. 
Now due to this, what happens is there is overlap in the conduction of both transistor. See, in negative half cycle, PNP will conduct, but for a short duration, NPN is also conducting. That means for small interval, both transistor will conduct. Earlier I told you in class B amplifier due to dead zone there is crossover distortion. There was some region in which none of the transistor was conducting. But now for small time interval or for small angle both transistors are conducting. That means there is no dead zone or no crossover distortion. Okay. So, there is overlap in the operation of both transistor for short duration. Now, due to overlap, current can flow from VCC to ground for a short duration. If that happens, power loss will increase and efficiency reduces. That is why efficiency of class AB is less than efficiency of B. But it is not biased in active region, so it is still greater than efficiency of class A. But what is the advantage? That harmonics are reduced. Now, if you remove both the diodes, then what will happen? It will behave as a class B amplifier. If we remove both the diodes. Similarly, instead of diode, you can also use a resistance to bias the transistor okay instead of using your two diodes what we can do we can make use of resistance to bias the transistor that can also help us eliminate the distortion okay so what is the advantage of class ab amplifier if i say so we will say that it reduces crossover distortion but what is the drawback that efficiency is reduced and efficiency maximum is about 60 percent okay so what we have done we have taken class b amplifier and we have biased it slightly above the cutoff point in order to reduce the distortion so remember in class a b amplifier both transistor overlap for a short duration so current can flow from supply to the ground Moving on to the last amplifier that is your class C amplifier. But before that, see, both the diodes will have voltage drop of how much? VD plus VD equal to 2VD. That is 1.4 volt. And this 1.4 volt is used for biasing Q1 and Q2. So it is biased slightly above cut off region this only thing you have to remember other than that overlap for short duration okay then reduced crossover distortion and increased efficiency sorry reduced efficiency as compared to class B, efficiency is reduced. So, eta max is about 60%. Now, moving on to the last amplifier that is class C amplifier. Now, class C amplifier has highest efficiency but poorest linearity. That means its operation is a sort of non-linear operation. Now, C it is nothing but a common emitter amplifier with a resonant circuit connected at the collector. This resonant circuit has L and C in parallel. So, it will be called as parallel resonance circuit. Now, class C amplifier is heavily biased. Heavily biased means biased even below cutoff region. What I mean to say, instead of applying a positive biasing voltage, what I will do is, I will apply a small negative bias voltage. This is DC. And on, super, on that, I will what I will do is, 
I will superimpose AC. Okay. Like this. But I told you for NPN transistor, base voltage must be greater than zero for transistor to be on. Now that means it will be on only in this region. Like this. But this was the half cycle. So it is on for a duration less than the half cycle. Okay, this duration is suppose phi. So it is on for a duration less than half cycle. Phi is less than phi. Conducts for time less than half cycle. Since conduction interval is reduced, losses are reduced because if it conducts for lesser interval, losses will be lesser and efficiency will be maximum. But what kind of output voltage we will obtain? We will obtain output voltage which is even less than 180 degree like this. See, we will obtain output voltage like this. It is less than 180 degree. So it is non-sinusoidal. This waveform is not a sinusoidal voltage. That means it will have large amount of harmonics and you can say distortion is very high. So in class C amplifier, the distortion is very high and it has large number of harmonics. Here you can talk about duty cycle. The duty cycle delta of transistor is on time by T which you can also write as phi upon 2 pi because it is only conducting for an angle phi out of 2 pi. So power dissipation is VCC into IC and what is energy dissipation? That is power dissipation into on time. So if you calculate average power dissipation, it is energy by total time or you can say power dissipation into delta. That is why this average power dissipation is reduced because duty cycle is less than 1. So its efficiency is almost 82.5%. So class C amplifier has highest efficiency but it has large number of harmonics as well. So if I compare all the amplifier in order to summarize, class A amplifier is biased in active region class B cut off AB slightly above cut off and C beyond cut off if we talk about efficiency 25% 78.5% Sixty percent, eighty-two point five percent. Okay. So out of them, if you want to have lesser harmonics and good efficiency, class A B will be the best option for maximum efficiency. Class C. Okay. If we talk about linearity, A is most linear, then A B, then B, then C. That is the order of their linearity. And C operating point also has been shown active. Between active and cutoff, cutoff and beyond cutoff. So you need to remember their operating point for all the type of power amplifier. Okay. So this is all from power amplifier. In the next video, I'll show you what kind of question can be asked from this topic. Thank you. I hope all of you have enjoyed the lecture that we were providing and all of you learned something very very good. Now is the time to learn about the Unacademy subscription. So as I told the benefits of the plus subscription at the very beginning, let's go through them very very quickly. Live classes you get by the top educators, crash course, rank improvement batch, doubt clearing, weekly quiz, test series, previous year question, practice question, everything in one subscription called as Unacademy Plus. And Iconic, Iconic is one level higher. It provides you a personal coach who will mentor you on a daily basis, who will guide you on a daily basis, along with providing you study planner, test analysis, 
study material and soon enough interview guidance. So if you are looking to join an academy, let's see what are the pricing. So my dear friends, before we see the pricing, just see the link. This link will help you crack gate and ESC with the top rank because we have created the first ever video book for gate and ESC for my YouTube family and you will get the notes as well as the lectures here. Just make sure that you write this link in the uppercase and you will get to the first ever video book for gate and ESE and it is nothing but revolutionary. Now let's see the pricing of plus subscription. So for 12 months, the pricing is 3250. But if you apply the code Ankit ESE, it becomes 27 to 25. For 18 months, it will be 34650. And for 24 months, 39600. Believe me, my dear friend, this is the most affordable pricing and the longer duration subscriptions are more cost effective as compared to shorter duration. Like here, it will cost you 1650 per month. Okay, this will be 2000 per month approx. This will be around 2250 per month. Then if you go for iconic for 12 months, it is 5250 with code Ankit ESC, it becomes 45 to 25. And two year subscription becomes 66, 600. So the choice is your, but take a longer duration subscription for more cost effective solution and to give gate and ESC at least two times so that if you once crack gate in the next attempt, you can even get ESC. And other than that, my friends, you can download the Unacademy Learning app right now because there we provide live classes for free, test series uh, and live quizzes for free. And once you download it, make sure that you follow this profile. This is my profile so that whenever I come live, you will get the notification. And this is the telegram channel for our team. Here you will find all the lecture links, all the lecture files and all the links for the special classes. Other than that, my friend, my personal telegram channel also you can join t.me slash gate AIR1. Here you can get in touch with me and we can take this journey together. Okay. Other than that, we have other YouTube channels like Mechanical, Civil and Telugu, JE channel, Computer Science, Gate Question and Electrical Junction, Part Shala and GS Terminal. Electrical Junction contains short videos of great concepts. Part Shala provides you animated content. JE preparation can be done through these two channels, Unacademy SSC JE and GS Terminal. And you can refer the other channels to the other friends in respective branches so that they can also be benefited. At last, I would like to say, please share, like and subscribe to this channel. Subscribe to this channel and not only subscribe, press the bell icon so that you get notified whenever a new video comes. And share this videos among all your college group, among all your friends so that we can create the first ever revolution of free education in field of gate and ESC. A thank you to everybody for dedicating time to watching this video. Please move on to the next one as well and take, take the benefit of all the free content that we are providing. And in case you have completed the series, do make sure you watch the other subjects available on this channel. Thank you.